Parkinson's disease is a disorder that causes death of nerve cells, also called neurons, that are located in the brain. Neurons create an important neurotransmitter called dopamine, a chemical messenger that is responsible for sending messages from one part of the brain to another. One of the most important roles for dopamine in the brain is to help us initiate movements. A decrease in the levels of dopamine ultimately leads to the movement symptoms of Parkinson's disease. These symptoms include tremors, stiffness of limbs, slow movement, and impaired balance and coordination. Parkinson's disease is not fatal, but symptoms worsen over time. In addition, people with Parkinson's experience symptoms unrelated to movement, including sleeping problems, depression, and fatigue. The exact reason why neurons become impaired is still unknown. However, the risk of developing the disease increases with age, with symptoms typically appearing around age 60 or older. Most experts agree that Parkinson's disease is caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors, such as chemicals, toxins, or head trauma. This continues to be a major focus of research. At the moment, there is no cure for Parkinson's disease. A variety of medications are available that can help people manage their symptoms. The medications vary for each person and must be adjusted as the disease progresses. One form of gene therapy may someday offer hope for people who have unmanaged symptoms. This will not be a cure quite yet, but may manage symptoms or help existing medications work better and even longer. To explain how, here's Dr. Raymond Bardas. An approach being investigated is to give brain cells or neurons in Parkinson's patients the ability to produce more dopamine. This can be done by delivering specific genes into neurons. Think of genes as instructions for neurons. These instructions are delivered to the cells by a vector, which is often a virus that is designed so that it contains no viral genes, but rather only contains and delivers a therapeutic gene. In this case, it is the gene or instructions to make dopamine. Once the new genes are inside the cell, they tell the cell which enzymes or proteins to make. One gene therapy being studied aims to program neurons to produce an enzyme called AADC by adding a functional DDC gene to the brain cells. By the way, enzymes are molecules that speed up chemical reactions in our body. The AADC enzyme plays an important role in converting L-DOPA into dopamine. L-DOPA is both naturally occurring and an existing Parkinson's disease medication. As the disease progresses, Less of the AADC enzyme is produced in the brain, therefore making it hard for the medication to work. Another approach being studied provides the gene for three enzymes, AADC, TH, and CH1, to produce dopamine independent of the medication L-DOPA. A one-time surgical procedure may deliver either vectors carrying the gene for AADC or vectors carrying the gene with three dopamine-producing enzymes into the brain. Once the new genes are in the cells, they give instructions to produce the enzymes. With more enzymes present, more dopamine is expected to be available in parts of the brain that control movement. By increasing dopamine levels, Parkinson's symptoms become more manageable again. Researchers continue to optimistically investigate gene therapies in clinical trials to see if they are safe and effective. For more information and resources about gene therapy for Parkinson's disease, visit ASGCT.org.